What is Dada? A five-minute history. Dada is art. It began in the wake of World War I, when a group of artists began expressing their disillusionment with society through performances, collages, and manifestos. Many of the Dada artists fought in the war and returned with a cynicism towards authority and nationalism. Dada artists rejected mass media and nationalist propaganda and created their own anti-movement to express their reactions to the modern world. In the first Dada Manifesto, Hugo Ball asked, how can one get rid of everything that smacks of journalism, worms, everything nice and right, blinkered, moralistic, Europeanized, enervated, by saying Dada? Dada was born in Zurich from the minds of the liberal thinkers who frequented the Cabaret Voltaire. Hugo Ball founded the cabaret and performed his famous sound poems to a captivated audience of avant-garde intellectuals. On the walls hung collages and artworks by other founding members of the movement, including Hans Arp, Tristan Zara, Sophie Tauber, Marcel Jenko, Francis Picabia, Richard Hilsenbeck, and others. In 1917, the first Dada exhibition occurred. But by 1919, most of the Zurich artists had moved to other countries, taking Dada with them. Richard Hülsenbeck decided to move back to Berlin in early 1917, bringing Dada with him. By the following year, several other artists had joined the scene, including Otto Dix, George Gross, John Hartfeld, and Henna Hoch. The Berlin Dadaist organized the first international Dada Fair in 1920, a shocking expose that earned Gross a conviction and fine for slander against the German military. Over the years, the Berlin Dadaists continued to express their discontent with the military and German nationalism through their works of art. The Dadaist movement in Hanover was carried primarily by one man, Kurt Schwitters, who created assembled sculptures known as Mertz art. His international notoriety was launched after he published a satirical love poem entitled An Anna Blume. It also caused him to be rejected by the Berlin Dadaists, who interpreted the poem as bourgeois sentiment and misguided romance. Not to be deterred, Schwitters continued his Mozart and Dada poetry, creating his own identity that was Dada informed but distinctly different from the other branches of the movement. Alfred F. Grunwald also known as Johannes Theodor Bargeld, was the financier of Der Ventilator, a Dadaist publication he produced in Cologne with Max Ernst in February 1919 that established the movement in the city. Their satirical and radically leftist journal was confiscated by British authorities who occupied part of the city. Other publications were produced in the years that followed, and exhibitions provided shocking experiences to the audience including accessing the gallery through the men's restroom. However, by 1920, the Dada scene in Cologne had declined, Ernst had moved to Paris, and Bargeld had decided to pursue his doctorate. Dada exploded on the New York art scene with Marcel Duchamp and his infamous ready-made work, Fountain. The Dada movement in New York, while still grounded in radical politics, expressed an increasing preoccupation with mechanical apparatuses and was largely identified with works by Duchamp, Man Ray, the Baroness Elsa von freitag lorinhoven and international Dada veteran Francis Picabia. Unfortunately, after Duchamp and Man Ray moved to Paris in the summer of 1921, the New York Dada scene quickly dissolved. In early 1920, Dada arrived in Paris with the reunion of various artists in a series of performances and exhibitions. As an artistic metropolis emerging from the war, Paris was the ideal setting for Dadaism. Duchamp and Man Ray joined the relocated artists from Zurich, Berlin, and Cologne, and pushed the movement towards artistic extremes. The group eventually became divided by artistic and political ideologies, fracturing the movement as Dada drifted out and surrealism moved in.